My favorite discussion to have with golfers is whether or not they can make a full shoulder turn during the backswing. Almost every golfer on the planet thinks they can't make a full shoulder turn because they're not flexible enough. And I can guarantee you that's not the case. No matter what anybody tells you, the reality is all of us can make a full shoulder turn. And I've been proving that for more than 20 years of getting golfers who have all kinds of back problems and uh, spinal fusions and all kinds of issues still making full shoulder turns. It's not hard. It's all about understanding where you move from and at which point in the swing do you do it. Sequencing and where you move from and force of movement, that's the whole secret to the golf swing and that's what rotary swing is all about. So I'm going to show you today. So if you think that you can't make a full shoulder turn because you're not flexible enough, pay close attention because I'm going to tell you exactly why you're doing what you're doing and I'm going to show you exactly how to fix it. So the number one cause for golfers who don't make a full shoulder turn, and it's synonymous across the board, everybody does the same thing, is they take their left arm and they push it across their chest. Now I want you to do this while you're watching this video and all of a sudden the light bulb's gonna go off in your head as to why rotary swing makes sense and what you're doing doesn't. Take your left arm, push it across your chest and tell me where you feel tension. Immediately you're gonna feel it back here, in the back of your shoulder, in the back of your arm, you're gonna start feeling tension. Well, guess what your brain uses as a signal to start moving the other direction. Ding, 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 ding. It's tension. If your body creates a lot of tension early in the swing, what's the number one thing your body wants to do with that tension? Get rid of it, of course. Tension's a good thing in the swing as long as you create it in the right place in your body at the right time. Almost nobody does that and that's why they struggle with the golf swing so much. It's really simple if you're following rotary swing. We're gonna teach you how to move and create tension in the right places at the right time, and that's the difference. So, if you're taking your left arm and pushing it across your chest, now all of a sudden you've got all this tension, and you keep going, why would you go any further than this? Because your brain is telling you, it's screaming at you, dude, this is so tight, if we keep going any further, we're gonna get injured. Your brain won't let you do that, so it's gonna just stop right there, and then you're gonna fire down from the top before you ever make a full shoulder turn. So you're gonna stop turning right about here, so you made half a turn. How do you fix it? Stop moving from that side of your body during the backswing. It's simple. Instead of pushing from the left side, you're gonna pull from the right. And that's what Rotary Swing talks about. You've, I've done many videos on push versus pull. If you go to the website, go to rotaryswing.com and look at search for push versus pull, you'll see that all of a sudden this stuff's gonna make tons of sense. So we know that if we go push our left arm across our chest, we turn about halfway. Instead of pushing your left arm across your chest, pull your right shoulder behind your head. Now watch what happens. Not only do I not have any tension here, I can keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. If I let my weight shift, I can keep going, keep going. Oh, look at that. I can make a huge, huge shoulder turn when I move from the right side of my body. Pushing versus pulling is the essence of what rotary swing is all about. And when you start pulling, you start turning. If you start pushing, all of a sudden, your body's gonna build up so much tension at the wrong point in the swing, it's gonna be too much tension too early, and nobody will make a full shoulder turn. I don't care if you're a Gumby, you're not flexible enough, you're creating too much tension. It's not the flexibility issue, it's tension and timing. Tension and sequencing is the secret to what rotary swing sauce is all about. So, if you wanna make a full shoulder turn, I guarantee you you're flexible enough. Take your right shoulder, pull it back behind your head, let your weight shift to the right, let your hip turn, boom, full shoulder turn. It's very, very simple. So if this stuff resonates with you, make sure you check out more of our videos on rotaryswing.com today. And all of a sudden, the golf swing will be made much simpler for you and much easier to understand.